There are many different types of beautiful outdoor spaces throughout the United States. There are local parks, national parks, wildlife reserves and sanctuaries, and even your own backyard. National wildlife refuges are another type of outdoor space. National wildlife refuges are managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and there are over 500 of them throughout the whole country. Pause the video and find your state. Each dot represents a refuge. How many can you count in your state? National wildlife refuges are special places for wildlife and for people to enjoy the great outdoors. What makes them unique is that they were created to provide habitats for the conservation of all sorts of animal life and plant life. From the Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge in New Mexico, where one can find prickly pear cactus growing in the desert, to the wetlands of the Seatuck National Wildlife Refuge in New York, where salt marsh sparrows make their home. There are various habitats throughout all refuges. Habitat, the natural home or environment of an animal, plant, or other organism. Each wildlife species has specific adaptations to survive and thrive in its habitat. Adaptation, physical characteristics animals or plants have or adjustments they make to survive in their habitat. Adaptations can change over time and some are even based on the seasons. For example, many monarch butterflies migrate south in the fall and stop at the sunny and warm St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge in Florida on their way to winter in Mexico. How do you adapt? Grab a piece of paper, grab something to write or draw with. What are some ways you adapt to changes in the seasons? Write or draw all the ways you can think of. Share with your peers. National wildlife refuges are great places to participate in many kinds of recreational activities like fishing, hiking, hunting, and even wildlife observation. Some refuges even offer environmental education programs and events for everyone. Each National Wildlife Refuge has unique sights and sounds year-round. Refuge sights and sounds. Keep playing the video. What are some sights and sounds you can identify? Observe with your eyes and ears and share what you saw and heard with your peers. What did you see in here? National wildlife refuges have all the resources plants and animals need to survive. These include fresh air, clean water, 
multiple food sources, and space to build shelter. Human beings need the exact same resources to survive. All these resources for wildlife come from healthy habitats that biologists, managers, and other staff take care of using their five senses and other important tools. This includes trapping, tagging, and tracking animals to record how they're doing physically, to check how they're interacting with their environment. Conducting prescribed burns to control invasive species and help native grasses grow. And also planting trees and grasses to restore native habitat. What refuges are located near you?